We're starting, James Bill. Oh my goodness. We're on? I believe so. That's incredible. Hello, everyone. I'm welcome. <laughs> I've got a map flying. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first uh, Road to Greatness Asia. I'm pretty excited for this one. I am very excited. I see a few names that I, I know of, but I'll, honestly, a lot of names that I uh, haven't seen before. A few every so often. Um, we were literally talking about a player earlier that um, Sharkpaw brought into one of the weeklies. That I've, or it already escapes me. I'm literally going through our like yeah, conversation. <laughs> big high G. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So like, it's a we've big got high some... G. Is that how you say it? I, I would assume so. I'm not 100 percent sure, but like, like. Either way, th there's names I'm really excited to see. Guru, especially one of my favorite players, and then, uh, like. Names I'm excited to see because I, I don't know what to expect and that I think is one of my favorite things in in fighting games in general. It's like who's this player? Oh, they're really good. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Very, I'm very pumped to see this uh scene. Honestly I do wish got a lot more coverage Asia, so I'm very, very happy that Road to Greatness are doing an Asia tournament because there's a lot of really good names there. Yeah, this is this is a a series I think that I'm I'm super super excited for we're seeing some japanese players um like like nezumi and kiribasu um mm -hmm. so i'm very excited to see them um some chinese players mm -hmm. um yeah no it's it's i think it's exactly the kind of um maybe spotlight that a lot of us um players down in australia or maybe um yeah in, in other regions haven't really seen as much of you know because of the language barrier so i think yeah, what, yeah. Uh, what the folks over at um, Road to Greatness are doing is exactly that kind of, I don't know, important thing for community growth. Very exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knowing, letting everyone know, hey, there's a scene right here. You should have your eyes on it. Is, mm. is um, aren't, it's always really, really good to see. Just, oh, there's Pokemon here too. Damn, this this game's still going. It's like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're here. We're yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and not just is it going, but also China and Japan are two of the strongest mm, regions mm. in the world. So yep, yep. the power level could be something un unmatched. Yep, yep. Yep. Very excited to see where this goes. So yeah, a lot of a lot of players. Um I'm interested to see actually if a lot of these players know of each other. Because like obviously there is the international aspect where it's just like, oh, I, I don't really know this scene too much. But then there's sort of like the these people are like not like I mean I, I on a continental scale, not too far away, or uh, like from where I'm at, and then I don't know, could grow the community, could get more friendlies groups going and stuff like that. It's always it's always interesting to see a uh, scene grow, and this could be this could be definitely the start of something. Uh, seeing players interact with each other more and just get better and better and better, and I'm half scared of that, but yeah, I'm mostly I'm, excited though. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking it. at the bracket and I'm thinking, man, I wish I lived in Asia because I want to fight <laughs> these players. This would be so cool. Um, yeah, just very excited for tonight. Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah. excited. To see, uh, I'll, I'll be real. I, I, I'm hoping I don't show my bias, but I love Goo. I'm very excited <laughs> to see Goo play. Yeah, it's been a, yeah. it's been a while since I've seen Goo. Yeah, so Godzilla Goo is a player who who used to live in New Zealand um, when they were doing doing university. So they were a bit more active in the uh, the OCE scene. Um, mm. So James Bell, you and I we were a lot more acquainted with them. Um, yeah, yeah. Goo I, uh, has attended one of our majors, uh, Battle Arena Melbourne. Mm. Oh, they saw. I went, to, I went to London and I saw him there. That was that was yeah, a really right. special, special <laughs> time. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, Goo's Goo's appeared in a few of our uh, our tournaments. OCIC twenty nineteen, Goo got four. Um, Bam twelve, I think it was, or no, it was Bam eleven, and Goo also got four. Mm. So uh, definitely acquainted with us over here, and that's why we love him yep. so much. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty exciting. But as much as there is like names that we definitely know like Goo who's pretty much family for us there's also so many names that we don't know and mm -hmm. I'm sure that there's a lot of them that are totally as as talented as as Goo is um, and I'm so excited to see that undiscovered talent is like the most mm. I don't know like like I'm frothing at the mouth from anticipation the real <laughs> threats begin to emerge and it's always so exciting to see yeah random names pop up like um 
oh, I, I'm even thinking now back to our conversation on Big High G, knowing that Big High G is a a Blastoise player is getting me excited mm. alone. Like that's oh, all it takes to me. But... <laughs> yeah, I remember. I I've, I think I've fought Big High G in exactly one game, and it was I struggled. Um, and mm. I was remember thinking. This is this was quite some time ago, but I fought your Blastoise so much I shouldn't have any problem. And I went in, played nothing like you, totally unique yeah. playstyle, and it was so different. I just I couldn't even process what was different about it. Like I couldn't even mm. tell you now what it was. So I'm hoping that we see some Blastoise action, so I could actually, I don't know, <laughs> I guess validate more. to myself. Yeah, I mean, did I dream <laughs> that? That even happen? <laughs> Am I going so, crazy? That's and what it feels like a second Blastoise player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might feel like a dream, but uh, this might be waking reality. <laughs> that's right. I think I think that that's definitely something. Uh, probably the thing I'm most looking forward to is character diversity. I want to I want to mm. see what what these names. I'm not sure of. I want to see who they play. I want to analyze and everything. So here Ooh. we go. Getting Ooh. into it. All right, we got Tato Kun and TC Xian. I'm not quite sure exactly who either of these players are, but I'm assuming mm. Xian is from China. As of the CHN, mm -hmm. and yeah. Tato Kun's from Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably right. I'm not. I'm not as smart with. Unfor unfortunately, I'm one of the least bilingual people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll be leaning on you for those names. But here we go. Yeah, but you're versed in the Blaze Pokemon matchup. <laughs> the Blaziken Lucario matchup, a matchup I haven't seen in a while. Though we do see that side JY uh, come with a great use to catching off the button. Yeah, it's a very strong opening here. I mean, Blaziken might struggle a little bit with uh, Lucario's such, like, safe defense. Um, mm. So I'm really excited to see how Teto Kun can kind of open up Xian over here. Yeah, yeah. Two two sides of the same coin here. Uh, both neutral base mm. characters. Oh, there we go. The low tech there. That was really uh, that was really nice. Or the high tech, rather. But just flare blitzing out of that corner. <laughs> Let's get this back Little to the push. middle of this field. And that easy is so dangerous. Yeah, okay. The, the, the Mimikyu is going to give the value back. Yeah, but, uh, it that... feels so explosive. Every time TC Xian gets an attack in, it's like you know just a little chunk. But then Blaziken just has yeah, to do one yeah. Field, and it's like, like a lot of characters don't really like field phase due to <laughs> not really. A, oh my goodness, a lot of button. Um, not really getting too much damage in field, but like Blaziken doesn't. Blaziken ignores that part. Oh my god. Ooh. This isn't killing. Okay, okay, we got the uh, okay. we got the five X in there. We got nice Mirror on board. Game. That's good, good burst. Trying to frame trap with a forward way. Oh, Ooh. getting caught by the aura sphere. Yeah, that was a. I don't know. I think just feeling a little bit stuck in that situation. Um, mm. Locking down there. That was that was just really good from TC Sean. But it's exactly what I expected, right? Like the Blaziken's going so gung ho and so scary, and the Lucario's mm. kind of nice. Play. This is yeah, like... but buttons flying versus a very reserved sort of Lucario. It's really interesting to see, and like we saw in that last round, it, it's it's very easy, evenly matched. But here we go, we got a combo force palm. Alright, what's the okay? Oh, backing up for the the uh, dual phase burst. Ooh, no whiff finish. Ooh, nice Ooh. little catch, but. I love these Yandere. little traps. Yeah, yeah, very, very aware of that though, uh, with TC Chiron, with that Lucario, the JY. Oh, oh no, no that... Yeah, that's... Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright, yeah, have first. The first oh, dodging. Response. Yeah, that's going under. Here goes the Eevee. That attack up. Oh my god. Oh my Bro. god. <laughs> I can't Holy shit. The most... So it looks so brutal that downswing, but yeah, yeah. very, very good uh, numbers in their head. Like, we, yeah, they had the PSP to work with too, right? This one, yeah, the yeah, and they, yeah, just went for the downswing. Yeah, sure. Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, this is really, it's really interesting because, like, um, I suppose that volatility is sort of what to expect with a Blaziken and uh, and and this really reserved Lucario, like. Mm. It, yeah, I, I go back to what I was saying earlier, like, it's two sides of the same coin. Very neutral based characters, but they're playing so differently at the moment. Yeah, and you can tell how comfortable they are with their characters as well. Like, they're going for, you know, just the most, I think, like, the options that just make sense for their characters. Mm -hmm. um, 
So there's a bit level of expertise at play. Oh, dangerous. I just want to point out what I think was a perfect block there. No block there, though. And that will catch nothing further, but that's fine. That's a lot yeah, of damage. Fine. Oh, oh, the oh, oh the so smart with the 6 Y. But, uh, Tato Kun absolutely on top of that uh, dual phase there, though. Was that a perfect block for the panel? Oh, the perfect block! No, that was no. a perfect block! Okay. But, uh, very close. I'm a big fan already, out. get out. Yep. Yep, yep. Alright, kind of locked in the corner now. Tatakun might have to use resources to close this one out. Ooh. Oh, we're punishing wow. with a high jump kick across the screen. I think that was, that was a hurt box shift, yeah. yeah. That, looked, that was really interesting though. Tatakun, like, from what we saw earlier, that was so patient. And it paid off in spades. Yeah, and also that was a weird high jump kick. Like, I never would have expected that to work. Are they just like, <laughs> do you just know more than me? Probably. Oh, Mimikyu finally catching up. Minus eight, but unfortunately out of range. But nice. that that CA is, especially against Lucario with a 2x that launches, it's so hard to use here. Yeah, you can't press but, the... Uh, understandable to use it. It's a defensive mm. option that you need, but yeah, oh, it's so tough. Yeah, it's just the car is so safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, continually playing it safe, getting those little bits of chip that are really adding up here. Oh, oh, no, no fear. <laughs> no fear. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, her. Okay. Yeah, I got grabbed. Right. Got grabbed. Yeah, this is, this is bad because that means no resources for Blaziken. Yeah, oh, we'll see what cheer skill. Okay, I think that's standard. Um. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh, Grabbing the nug in the middle, <laughs> Mita no. is almost back, and it's it's Blaziken. So th that's gonna that's gonna come like one more blaze kick. I love that frame trap with a six Y grab. Mm -mm. Ooh, barely, oh, just out of range. Good or Spiroki. Oh, oh, very good cat. Good scoop too. Damn, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed Ooh. at the moment. Xian's doing so well. All right. Yeah, getting the meter again. Gonna have to make something work here because oh, there it is. That's gonna be a home to open. A nice up. amount of damage. <gasps> Good anti -air. Anti -air. Hello. Oh, just oh that PSP God. miscounting that PSP a little bit, but that was a lot PSP. of damage to Spite. Shion's now on the back foot. Plus oh, four no. burst. Oh so no! Is this a punish? Here. This is a punish. It is a punish. Yeah. Okay. So it's a very tough skin first thing when they have meter up, but uh Yep. Very good awareness good. from very good, good awareness from Xion there. That was that yeah. uh burst burst uh burst declaring through a burst attack is always even against Ken, like like mm. if you miss that you get clipped by the uh like the flurry of kicks. Mm. And um yeah, fantastic awareness that was a that was a really good start to uh yeah, like oh, this stream shoot. tonight. Holy shit. It was two so different scary. Play yeah, two yeah. different playstyles clashing, and like they clashed into such a close game in the end. But uh, mm. TC Sean with the uh, Lucario. I hope I'm pronouncing that well, uh, correctly, by the way. But yeah, uh, very good. Very good Lucario. Very good Blaziken, too. I saw that S5 rank. Yeah, I feel like that Blaziken Lucario matchup is kind of like, it's kind of like emblematic of, of Pokken a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is yeah. kind of the, the two Pokemon that um, were first represented in the, the first Pokemon teaser. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, is this Winner's Files, or what's the deal? Um, this is... Let me have a look at the bracket. Yes, so this is... Um, oh, this is okay, is. okay, yeah. Tato, you, you, you've got another chance. I want to see oh, something, right. yeah. I'm a big fan of both of these players already. I want to see some action. Damn, this is brutal. Sideways too. Yeah, that. Oh, um, Lucario just winning in projectile priority, unfortunately. Oh, good high stance. I was just about to say, do they know they can high stance? They do. Nice. Good back dash too. Ooh, nearly, nearly hit it. This is this is two very aware players. We're seeing little interactions like uh, ducking under CAs, obviously. But then you got the high stance there before that. Whoa. There that is mid sentence. I'm so happy I got that payoff. The 8x to go over CA is so smart. The Mimikyu through the Blaze Kicks was interesting. I wonder if that works on Flare Blitz as well. Hmm. Ooh. 
I love these little checks. Hmm. I would like. Oh, we're gonna see that. Yes, five stands. Oh, I would like to see just a little more. Um, like, I mean, something on these bone rushes. I've seen two go unpunished at the moment. And with Blaziken, with how uh, how much Blaziken do like get. it's cleared. Oh, that catches. Oh. Is that the lead that we need? I right, might get the meter out. Yep. Alright, on one HP it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Does it? This is still horrifying. Oh, the, this is plus. We got plus. What are we gonna see? And just hold block. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Completely fair. Yep. Oh. oh. All right. All Not right. denying cheer skill, but only just. But completely fair. That was really good. Just the whole block there. Yeah, but this time Tatokun starts with the resource advantage. Um, and Blaziken's very much a momentum heavy character, so. Yeah, yeah. It's not the biggest deal. Starting grab. with a dual phase grab. Mm, this very could, nice. This could be where it starts. Yeah, that's all it takes. Oh, oh good punish nice though. Back I like the little up stance to charge the tiny bits of meter. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. just taking that little moment, just to get something- Oh, here we go! Nice. Blitz, no wall splat, but a good, very good position. Oh, Holy moly, this might be a lot. <laughs> okay, this this is the moment I was talking about. And there's no even, mm -hmm. like, first time back that we need yet. Doesn't Oop. take much, or just charging into that mimic there. Yeah, I think they're trying to get the, the vulnerable frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fair uh, enough, this yeah. Just, just burst. Yeah, it doesn't right, feel nice bursting with that double debuff, but... Sometimes you just go to one, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of get out of this corner. Ooh, there's gonna be a nice little corner swap. Yeah, way out. Oh. This catches unless the dash is still oh, there. The dash is not there, and the debuffs the debuff are gone. Out. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Can we figure out what the um, the cheer skill is yet? I think it's standard for um for Tato Kun. Mm -hmm. Uh, for TC Shan. Ooh, okay. um, that looks whimsical. Damn, okay, because this means Tidakun doesn't have any resources and lost the opening. Um, ooh. So this is gonna have to just be raw damage. Mm -hmm. Nope, doesn't help out. Ooh. Very, very nice. Oh, nice. Interesting. Another field. Might actually happen. We might see Mega Blaziken again. Ooh, ooh. good reaction. Yeah, Blaziken, when aggressive, just passively builds up that meter. We're already seeing it here. That's all it takes sometimes, and here we go, TC right. Xion feeling that pressure. She, Xion wants to close this out before the Mega Blaziken comes online. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, too. Oh, almost trying oh, to cross it up, but this is going to do big. This is gonna do a whole lot. That's an unscaled, right? 8Y? Uh, 10%, I believe. Oh, uh, right. with the wall multiplier, yeah. I think it does end up actually being a multiplier. Yeah. Ooh. Huge. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I did not see a button though. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, we didn't. No, All but right. we had the speed buff. All right. Speed buff. How are we making this work? Oh, the combo! That was so cool! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my god. Oh, so unfortunate. Alright, right, we're good. No. Okay. So that, That's so not death. First online, you can't really jab the, the, the CA as safely, hey? Ah, uh, you can jump cancel. That is true. That is true. Mm. Oh, does this catch? No, no, it wasn't oh, Broadway. Nice, yes. re nice positioning. This is still a one touch. Like, yeah. Like, this is. Oh, oh but we just. Just a little point. too antsy with that at back. Why? I get it. I get it. I would. I do the same, but very yeah, well played from both of them. Wrong spacing. Yeah. 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 Xian, TC Xian making that, that little. Um, that, those little bits of chip damage really add up right into the last uh, death touch scenario at the end. Mm hmm. That safe playstyle, so so it's kind of scary. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do against something so solid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like um, that was a movable object versus unstoppable force. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, maybe that Lucario was just a little bit more immovable than the uh, unstoppable force. But but um, very well played from the both of them. Massive fan of both of them already. But that that Lucario wow. is looking dangerous. I, I hope they're very excited stick around for the next one because I'd love to mm -hmm. see. Him. I'd love to see more of that. I'd like to play him personally, but I mean, the yeah, last time I, really. yeah, like if you try to find like Lucario Blaziken sets online, you don't really find that many. You find like Toasty versus Bad Intent from like 2016. <laughs> like if that's all you're working with. Mm. So this is exactly what we need, you know. 
All right, well, that was a good winner's finals game. Going into the next one, we're looking at... Um, I believe Popopo's coming up? And if so, I'm pretty excited. Popopo is a, a Japanese player who some might know on YouTube. Um, um, Popopo has, I don't know, been quite a, a regular content creator for Pokémon for quite a while. Um, quite famous for the Machamp. Oh, and the Chandelure. So we got Popopo on Chandelure on the left, and who who are they fighting? Is that... Is that Big Haiji? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it is. Alright, so we've got Popopo on the Chandelure, and Big Haiji on the Machamp. Unfortunately, no Blastoise from Big okay, Haiji. Okay, I've come, come back. <laughs> and I've not seen the Blastoise, and seeing a Shand on the other side completely fair. <laughs> Some things remain the same, even if the blast noises are different. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. I think it's one of the worst matchups in the game, but... Oh well. I'm I'm still pumped to see Big IG, like, still here. And Popopo, yeah, you, I, I heard you before I had to quickly go. Uh, I, I know of Popopo, but mm. I don't think I've seen too many sets of Popopo. So I'm excited. Yeah, let's let's change the this 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 chandelier is already showing quite a lot. I mean, Big Hygie is yeah. actually is just struggling to get in, finding no oh no mm. respite in any of these any of these guesses. And that's that's a perfect to start off. It's it's tough. This is a tough matchup. Strangely, I, I like it, it's so it's so unfortunate that your choices are Blastoise or Marchamp into Chandelure. If, if that's Big Hygie's only two characters, that mm. is. Because Shand, Shand is just a tough matchup, and yeah, just just bro, 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 the, the, this wall, this playstyle is just really working at the moment. Mm. The mix-ups on the Will-O-Wisp, they're they're getting me. Yeah, it's 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 such a box. I'm getting word now also from uh, that uh, big high G. It's not pronounced big high G, but rather maybe something closer to big high K. Okay, okay. Uh, Sorry if we've been butchering your name this whole time. <laughs> All good. I will keep that in mind. Apologies. Okay. So, big haiku. Alright. I, I also... I just need to make an interesting point here that... Do you see these, like, Ferrum crystals floating around the stage? Um... Yeah, yeah. Like, you mean with the uh, ones that are starting up, or...? The no, no, the ones that are just... Dude, they're just spawning around. I believe I'm playing in friendly battle. Which I'm not sure what the the tournament standards are um, for RTGs typically, um, but I know in in like a lot of in the Asian communities typically, um, especially in Japan, they run friendly battles for competitive mm. um, more often oh. than not. Um, yeah, so you're gonna see some thing? like interactions here. I'm not sure if um, what the rules are for this tournament yet. Um, I didn't mm. do my due diligence with it. I'd assume it'd be just fixed battle arena. Although, can you set up fixed battle arena in friendlies? I actually can't remember. You can't. You have to use lobbies, and that's I think why Japan just I guess they couldn't be bothered, or maybe they were more used to the old system. I'm not quite sure. Mm -mm. Um, Was it? Regardless, I mean, it's kind of a different meta in a way. Yeah, yeah, it makes Shand even stronger with bigger stages. And yeah. well, I mean, this one's pretty close to standard, like if I remember correctly. Only the main no, difference is in the. This is a 20 foot, uh, 20 meter stage, which means it's max size. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And Shand, even on smaller stages, still has quite an advantage because while throwing out those neutral wires, it can walk around and pick up all those little crystals. So yep, it's yep. kind of a friendly battle demon. Along with that, the uh, the shorter dual phase, when it happens, rather, Ooh. um, uh, Will O Wisp becomes a full screen option. Oh, Ooh, it's it. oh, it's not enough. <laughs> yeah, well, it's. Not a perfect. Oh, getting a big JX. All right, big high curves. Oh, okay. oh, I could go for the heavy slab. I love oh, it. Dude. It's just non-stop guessing, and it's not working out. Yeah, this is oh, this is on it. This wall is. Oh, it, it it's very tough to get through. Pepepo is doing such a good job here to just keep that distance between 
what is essentially doing 200 damage or taking 500 damage. So, <laughs> Popo -po with these walls here, such a good job. Big high could just yet to really find their way in. Good back dash. Whoa. These ambiguous attacks. Oh, there we go. You're just going a lot of easy, damage. Easy close convert. Yeah, that's 50%. It doesn't matter that it's easy. That's still a heap. Or barely, barely. Mm, returning, returning projectiles on the shand is brave. Honestly, I'm down for it. This might be meter. Yes, it is. We got Mega Marchamp. He's on. <laughs> got Guts March. <laughs> He's orange. <laughs> I don't know. I've always said it's Guts Marchamp, but yeah, it is. Cool. It is. Oh shit! It's my beard. Yeah, yeah there that's, it is. That's, no matter how such, you are. such a tough matchup to see, uh, to to have a Marchamp run into, but pa -pa -pa, just that Shand was solid, like no gaps in pressure there. And in the small instances we saw, we saw the 250 like damage. So absolutely fair enough to to like try and lock down that distance. And yeah, pa -pa -pa just did it so well there. It's yeah, very very tough matchup. Yeah, and again, I've only played Big Haiko once, um, but it might be quite telling that they're not choosing Blastoise for this game. Um, maybe mm. they haven't been playing Blastoise for a while, I'm not sure, right? But if it is the case that they are Blastoise main, it's telling that they're playing Machin for this, um, that they're clearly not comfortable with Blastoise against Shandy, but they clearly weren't that comfortable with the Machamp either. So overall, Shandy just seems like a real problem matchup for them. Mm. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, isn't it for us all? <laughs> all, not for me, but um, we can't all be sweeping this. <laughs> I mean, sweeping blast it's at least half of it is. Yeah, but that's that's a lot of damage being thrown around. Being a blastoise march out main. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The the dedication to being big, I can respect that. <laughs> as as a big man myself, yeah, I respect the hell out of it. <laughs> Alright, Popopo's choosing the matchup this time. Ooh. Against Tentacoon's Blaziken, this is gonna be this is gonna be explosive. Yeah, this is just damage everywhere. Like Machamp not really Machamp not really having too much access to like a good anti air option makes a lot of these blaze kicks a lot more scarier. Yeah, that's true. But in the damage department, Machamp mogs him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Neither of these characters are gonna know what hit him. Good grab! Yeah, I mean, that grab reaches. Usually, Blaziken can kind of get out of it, but not this time. Good, yeah, they kind of traded damage. <laughs> yeah, good, good reaction on Blaziken. <laughs> that, that was like an even like turnout for both of them. Oh my god. Oh, okay. The anti air. Alright. The heave like ho is on board. <laughs> okay. Ooh, getting that. I don't know, my, minus frames against Marchamp is always scary, too. Yeah, I, I never want to be anything more than zero in front of Machamp. Says the Napoleon player. Y yeah, no, it's <laughs> out of necessity. <laughs> Ooh, this, cornering this, the back. Ooh, this is crazy at the moment. Yeah, is from Machamp actually connecting. Buttons being thrown around. Yeah, and. Air to air with JY on the JX? Like, there's so. Oh, okay, I got grabbed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> dash of, dash of submission? Yeah. I, I was gonna say earlier, I actually think this EV is going to do a lot of work for Tato Kun. Mm. Like, like, HP um. Going back. Yeah, the, the HP return is massive mm. because Marchamp doing so much, you need to be so wary of that. Yeah, like, um, and look, that, you... that attack increase can also maybe like match the Machamp's yeah, damage, which is relevant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think, like, yeah, Blaziken's obviously not missing in the like the damage department, but I think, yeah, to throw out the damage, you need to hurt yourself. That okay, okay, that was sick. Oh, <laughs> the jump! Oh kick. my god, what? Drop kicking to Antier only in Asia. Holy <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Nice flare blitz catch, that health adding up a little bit, and there's the EV on mark. Good, oh, yeah, good awareness, that blue armor. Ooh, oh, what punish? Oh. No punish. Alright, that was probably a miss input. Maybe yeah, I'd, ass I'd assume oh, so. No. Yeah. Alright, that 2 Y is gonna completely take hit against momentum. Cashing in already with the uh, the close combat. Probably doesn't want to fight Mega Blaze. Ouch. Like that. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, could be a way around. <laughs> oh my god! I'll see. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> it's it's wild! Oh, oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, oh my I don't god. think that's gonna oh, be a, That is gonna be a synergy boosted. I forgot what the move is called. Um, oh, Super Mega Slam. Super Mega Slam. It's like, yeah. Dynamic something. I wish Dan was here. Dynamic punch. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that was dynamic, and Blaziken kind of exploded, kind of snapped. Mm -hmm. It's tough, because Blaziken needs to take those risks up close to, to kind of fulfill the game plan, but yeah. Machamp likes that. Machamp wants yeah. that. So what are you supposed to do? Like, Ken definitely can take those plus frames, but the best Ken can actually do, what? He has 8x, which I guess is okay, but, um, well not okay, it's a good move, but it's like, you're doing a lot of neutral, I always sort of like, try and group up, uh, characters into like, what's their best sort of frame, sort of, uh, startup, and a lot of Ken's moves are tied to I-15s, blaze kicks, and the five wise stuff like that. Two wise there too, obviously, I'm not counting that out. But Marchamp's going to be throwing out six Y checks and two Y like two Y checks, especially against Ken. And being zero after Blaze Kick just really isn't too much of an advantage on Champ, and we're kind of seeing it at the moment. Nice eight X, by the way. That was really oh good. nice. Yeah, I mean that's look that's definitely true. I'm seeing that Tato Kun's adaptation at the moment is that's more defensive playstyle. It's more focused on the the field phase, and up mm. until now is definitely working. Because yeah, this dual phase is problematic. Ooh, though we are seeing some mileage at the moment. That was a fantastic punish there. That was so good. Um, I mean, oh no. I, th I think it is. I think it is enough. There's enough. There's enough. All right. You're saying it as if you you're willing it to existence. Like that's enough. Please, enough. please. Oh no. I, I was looking closely. I was like, I think it's enough. Fifty four, and then I saw the numbers go down. It's like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking that this heat wave has enough priority to uh, kind of pressure Machamp around the projectiles, and I think that's yeah. relevant. That heat wave is going to be a lot of value in that field phase. Something about oh, oh. my goodness, the heat! Oh, <laughs> oh, my. oh the oh, reset so too. This is horrifying. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not Tato Kun right now. I was going to say though, Tato Kun's usage of uh, <laughs> of heat wave crazy, like really good. Heat. It's heat. Oh damn! Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Here's the EV coming out, just potentially trying to level that playing field with that extra damage. Just a little bit of an advantage from Poco Poco. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot yeah. of cross chop at the moment. Yeah, and that's straight back to dual phase. This is a really crap spot. Oh, snuffing it out. Great reaction from Poco Poco. Absolutely ready for that one. Just to yeah, do the was... extra follow up. That's just a really unfortunate timing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I can grab. <laughs> right. I can grab by like everything here. So. Cross drop coming out. Drawn out checks, it's just sort wall. of catch. Yeah, just catching buttons. There it is working. Just the two wires are potentially catching eight x. This defensive play from public Maybe there's no cross drop coming. Maybe Ooh. we're actually safe. <laughs> God. Ooh, oh catching. my goodness! <laughs> Hello. That's a lot of damage to right up close and the grab right. picks up the first yeah. to get out. <laughs> Check it out. Ooh. Oh no oh, punish. No. <gasps> I think that Oh yeah. no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her. The cancels are broken. That should be that should be banned. That should be not allowed. No. The 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 uh spot, oh. what are we gonna see here? No buttons. Oh, I was gonna say I'm expecting a cross job. I'm, I'm just expecting another one. Honestly, points to Popo -po for just throwing throwing out these cross jobs and just saying, Yeah, hey, I'm hey, scared of the boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And because Ken has to, like, dedicate it. Oh, oh that's death. I'm oh, sorry. No. <laughs> oh my god. No. Look, Pitakun has oh. one more chance to make this work. Mm. It was so close. It was way better than the last game, that's for sure. Mm. Like, um. Yeah, that was, that was a lot better off. Yeah, like I just want to also say, like, um, like finishing me thought then, um, just because I think it's important with cross chop, uh, Ken has to dedicate a move to sort of like, like Ken can't just 
low stance to try and whip it. Yeah. Not uh, cause it to whiff rather. Ken has to dedicate if he wants it to whiff. So he has to move block, move block, move block. And in that instance, it's just like, this is like stopping your process, like your progress of approaching me. So I'm just gonna keep throwing out two Ys, keep throwing out six Ys, maybe catch an eight X and maybe do, I don't know, 300 damage just because I feel like it. Yeah, yeah, and on the plus, and on the on the like other side, if you want to like react to it, you have to keep it at the top of your mental stack, which sucks yep. because that means that yeah. you don't react to six X anymore. Yep. Um, you lose to dash ups, you lose to rolls. You know, it's not the thing you want to have at the top of your mental stack. That's a waste. Oh, Very rarely is it. Oh, here we go. Here we All go. right, this is this is the game plan. Just just win up close. Who <laughs> but it's not happening. Mm, need that, although it's actually pretty tough to... Yeah, the, uh, all right, hang on. This Blaziken CA really sucks here, because your you best answer to JX is... Oh, wow, that, that was oh, a really good finish. Yeah, your best answer to, um... <laughs> wake up, Evo. Best answer to JX is to, is to blue armor, and unfortunately it is high immune after uh, when it lands. Mm. Well, it's also scary to see how often Popopo has the Hippo charge. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's a, it's maybe not more consistent due to being a charge move and maybe being a little bit too much of a, like a move forward move, but like, yeah, you're not having to rely on that eight wire, which uh, I think actually sort of loses a lot of its. Um... Oh my god! Okay. Good lord. That was a perfect. That was so cool. If only that was a burst punish. Damn. I'm not feeling good about this one. Oh my god. Completely locked in shield, just paralyzed out of the options. That was the so is impressive. There's the cross drop, but they good need reaction. It. Good reaction. <gasps> and that's, that's gonna death. be it. Yeah. nice. Okay, yeah. Popo -Po really wanted to break that shield. I could feel that. Oh. In, I could feel it in my in my socks. <laughs> I'm I'm still on that that basic perfect block. That was imp so impressive. <clears throat> Ouch. Yeah. A little bit of damage. Yeah, okay. yeah, this, this, this is where the, the twister. Oh, uh oh, oh two. Will we see any more? Will we see any more? Okay, oh. really good attempt there, but yeah, just miss. miss oh my god, things. meeting him in the air with a JY. Just cashing in straight oh. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, this, life, this is looking strong. <laughs> Even purposely bluing the, blue armoring that move to ensure this remains Ooh. a perfect to make a statement. Uh oh, in the corner again. Plus. Plus. Alright, gotta make a move. Plus. Oh, okay, okay. I'm a little worried. Dude, the shield is so red. Uh oh, is that it? I think that might be the one. Don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, don't worry. Close combat's a thing. Oh, oh it doesn't matter though. Yeah, it needed a little bit more. Let's work a little harder. <laughs> Trying to keep that <laughs> right uh, blaze can pin right against the wall. Hole. Yeah, yeah that like, was really good. Yeah, that, that was... Yeah. Even that short pause there, like, Popovo is just like, I know you're scared at the moment, I can just do what yeah. I want here, kind of walks up grab. Look, look, yeah. fair enough. Same here. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm scared and I'm commentating it. <laughs> yeah, this gameplay has me clenched. Nice. <laughs> Always a weird interaction with that one. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, was that a level 2? That was a level two, oh. yep. I wanna see a level three. <laughs> really wanna see a level three. Yeah. I think, 20 I think seconds. 20 getting, seconds. <laughs> getting too many opportunities to let go of that move. Mm. Alright. That little bit of heat wave. Look, heat wave also creates that that projectile to prevent cross drop from becoming a problem. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, unless cross drop is like tippered and deletes the projectile, I think it might actually be a an option here, and it's already working. I mean, Popo -Po is already put down into red in the offensive position. Can't really heat wave a Mega March on it, but. Ooh. 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 Alright, the burst has to come out. It's too scary otherwise. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's yeah. over. We got out. Oh no. Too high. No. Then, there's, no there's no shield break either. No, oh, that's that? not good. Cross drop, plus. Oh no. Oh. The, oh. Cross drop to get in, getting the grab, and that's gonna close it. Wow. Yeah, that Man, was unfortunate. Yeah, Man, purple purple. unfortunate. Purple.
Pai Pai Pai, that is that is some strength there. That was really impressive. Tetra Kun also, also really good job there. Uh, mm. I'm a big fan of that blaze again. Just uh, like yeah, the, just the usage of both the heat, heat wave and the J wires, but like but like Pai Pai Pai, th this March amp came out swinging and it was it was dinging. It was it even. <laughs> He even in home and <laughs> went to <the> bed. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> James and <above>. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it was interesting because even though, yes, it was a 3 0 showing, you could clearly see the Blaziken was, was adapting. You know, Tetakun was using the. The, the defensive posture a little bit better was using some of the aerials and a bit more of like a um like with some more cross-ups there was definitely some sort of um adaptation which led to um P -P -P needing to be on the advantage yeah, a little bit yeah. more or on the sorry on the on the on the back foot a little bit more in that last game as opposed to the the first one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um <laughs> So it's just looking at uh, at the moment, everyone. Uh, grand finals is currently ongoing, so we are we are going to sit Ooh. here patiently, and we're going to we're going to wonder, ponder about what is ahead of us. I'm very much looking forward to this, but yeah, uh, like looking at what we've seen already, I'm such a fan of everyone I've already seen. Uh, Taito Kun, yeah, I'm the J Ys, the the blaze, the Blaziken. I always like seeing a good Blaziken too, because it's a pretty rare character nowadays and with everything as established as it is with Pokémon, uh blazing is kind of hard to use so it's always really cool like just seeing like come someone like uh coming out and like yeah just <laughs> swinging with the ken yeah 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 and i'm excited too that um popopo -Po is like such a i don't know such a maybe a feels based player like you can tell mm -hmm. that Popopo likes putting putting fear into the opponent. I mean, playing both Shandy and Machamp, like there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> there's no good matchup you can have to cover both of those things. You would think, <laughs> you know, that in between is quite the wide, uh, widespread mm. uh, desert. <laughs> it's like you're either you're either get bashed up close or shot from a distance. There is no in between. It's a it's a cool um, like collection of characters to have, and that yeah mm -hmm. like that that um yeah character diversity is what I was thinking of earlier like mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah I think and having Machamp and Shandy covers your one v one matchups like probably perfectly right I mean going for the two extremes I don't know I mean it's not just it's not just character matchups but also player matchups yeah I mean, it's, it's interesting to think if you're fighting like someone who has like a neutral matchup against you it might be more advantageous to think okay what do they struggle more with like fear or with like patience because then you can pick your character accordingly yeah like completely opposite ends to like create openings it's really smart but like um oh well, I had a thought in my head and it disappeared. Like, um, nah, it's gone. Hopefully, it comes back. It might come back at like three AM, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for us, for us Australian folks. Mm. I mean, it's later for you. I, I, I'm sitting here at a very nice ten to one AM. Mm. But I've stayed up later for Pokemon. I've stayed up yeah. late for. That, that, that's true. Lunch. We we have. We have uh, hit like three AM tournaments for, especially for I think it was Victory Row. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm sitting back on my mic. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I remember people saying, "Oh, I stayed up till three AM." It's like, "Oh, okay," but we live for it. That's what we do. Yeah. Um. So on that note, I'm probably gonna swap. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just seeing the swaps no around. No worries at all. Yeah, I'm pretty I excited. Can... I mean, this. Oh, who's the who's the grand finals? Anyways, it's Xion versus um, Popopo, right? I believe. Am I forgetting? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, which which means um, 
it's kind of going to be that exact situation that we we're just talking about. Someone more in that sort of balanced mid-ground position. There's no advantage or disadvantage necessarily. Um, so Popopo is going to have to find out: is the Machamp or the Chandelier going to be the better pick against the player? Mm-hmm. I just remembered what I was thinking of before. Like we mm-hmm. were saying, like uh, the matchups between Machamp and Shand. It doesn't cover it perfectly, but it's like. As you're saying, with uh, covering how player matchups work, like uh, fear versus uh, patience, like doesn't really matter too much. And character-wise, like, like yeah, <laughs> I think both characters are absolutely uh, very good at breaking down the player before, like not not before, but like breaking down the player uh, instead of the character sometimes in mm. game plans. Yep. Like, yep. like if your pressure's right. Like, uh, you could really be forcing some rough situations on uh, your opponent. Yeah, that's definitely true. Anyways, thanks for having me for uh, for tonight. I hope the grand finals go super well. Well, let's let's. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm ho- I'm hoping you at least tune into it as you're as you're going to Betty Boy. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I can if I can stay <laughs> up a little longer. Or watch it tomorrow. All right. Good night, everyone. All right, ciao, ciao, Freddie. Thank you for joining. And we are joined with. Oh, I'm gonna have a go at this tag. Whammy rule. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I got the tag right. Yeah, yeah, more or less whammy rule. But yeah, what's up, Ah, everyone? Hope you guys are excited for grand finals. I know, I I know, I am. I that was some hype matches because. I I am not too familiar with uh, high level Pokémon, so that was my first time seeing a Blaziken, and oh my Ooh, god, Blaziken really? is scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he, he's it, it, look. Despite the tier placement, Blaziken is still one of the characters I fear the most because he just he gets one hit on you, and it's like, oh cool, there goes half my health. That's incredible. And like, even though he's lost like maybe ten percent of his, Blaziken's explosive, and even having that. Not awareness of people like uh, not really seeing many Blazikins around. Yeah, it, it can be, it can be horrifying to uh, to have to play against sometimes. Yeah, what what I'm learning is a general rule for fighting games is if you have a character with like fire attribute on their attacks, then they are going to be scary. Yes, yep, that is definitely true on this game, especially as someone who plays two characters that beat Charizard. Probably best matchup is Charizard. Uh, I still have a Charizard problem because he scares me very much. So any fire type character in this game, Brakeson, incredible, Chandelure, really strong, Charizard and Blaziken, whoops, you got touched once, there goes 50%. Yeah, that being said, Popopo is playing really crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, we we love a good brawler. We love a good yeah. brawler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I was saying before, like, I'm, I'm behind the screen on commentary and I'm still scared. I'm like, would I have been grabbed there? I think I would have been grabbed there. I'm, I'm losing this and I'm not even playing. Yeah, no, I I definitely, I was keeping tabs on it. Like, I was doing my own mental, like, could I survive the mix? No, I didn't. Yep, yeah, nah. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> I'm, losing, I'm losing health in real life, unfortunately, watching this. <laughs> The grabs doing so much, but this I, I think this upcoming match will be very interesting to see because like, like what what we saw from TC Sean in the uh, in the first game, um, uh, very patient player, seems very uh, got strong mental fortitude, might be a bit harder to crack and uh, like for our Popopo, but Popopo's Marchamp is so scary that it. it it could really go either way. Like, uh, will we see the pressure break uh, TC Xi'an, or will TC Xi'an just sort of go, oh well, that's a Machamp, I guess I'm just gonna keep doing my own Lucario things and just yeah, create I mean, this worked, little wall. Yeah, it worked out once. Yeah, yeah, from what we've seen, very patient play. It's it's a very interesting dynamic, what we're about to see. Up here. And it's also interesting to wonder, who is Popopo going to play? We've seen Chandelure, we've seen Marchamp. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, who? Sorry, I'm, I I must have missed the Shen match. Who's who's Shen playing? Uh, oh, Lucario. Uh, oh, TC Lucario. Okay, Lucario. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think honestly, Lucario Machamp will probably be a very interesting fight, just because it's going to be similar to to the Bla- to the Blaze player earlier. Because you know, like like you said, it would, they're very neutral. 
Like, mm, neutral mm. is going to be more interesting there. Yeah, yeah. Lucario more on, like, the sort of, like, um... The defensive side compared to Blaziken, but, like... It really is down to, um, yeah, how how well you can sort of count your uh, your advantage frames and everything, and how well you can work with them, because that's what Marchamp tries to prey on, like, keeping that turn, and Lucario sometimes just likes to take his turn back and then sort of, yeah, say, okay, this is, this is my game now, you're playing my game, you're going to sit there while I just keep getting my plus eight frames. Yeah, and I, th I, th I think, I think both the... these characters like that. Yeah, having the fireball also does help a bit. Yes, that that is very true. Yeah. That being said, is it not going to be incredibly hype when the Machamp gets in though? <laughs> <laughs> if I see a one raw uh like close combat, uh I may just jump off my seat. I, I'm ready for it. Yeah, no, definitely. Once once we get full Cheeto Machamp, then that's then you know, that's when uh, <laughs> we all we all win. <laughs> No matter who wins, we win, because that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon players win. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'm... I haven't seen a Lucario, like, Marchamp at high level in quite some time, I reckon. I'm trying to think here. I think it is Lucario favoured generally, but I don't think it's by much, so it's like... And then, and then, as for Shand, I mean, I said this earlier too. Like, uh, character favor might go Lucario's way, but with how Shand and Marchamp work, they might just break the player first. Like, it's it's really interesting. But TC Shyam being such a patient player and playing a character that loves that, um, I think it's going to be a really good match to watch. Yeah, no, the, that's definitely going to be super super interesting to. To see, uh, I don't know, man. Lucario just looks like the character that has everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what like uh, what's the phrase? Uh, like good at everything, master of nothing. But, oh, like, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, even though I, I say that, but Lucario is definitely like one of the best, like uh, sort of mid-range characters in the game, with arguably the best 2Y in the game. It's like 24 active frames. It's I-11 impact frame. Um, oh, well, 24 total frames, not in, uh, active frames, but it's a very quick move that Lucario's love to use, especially against Marchamp, who has a lot of uh, highs. Um, we didn't really see it much versus um, uh, Teito-kun because Blaziken can't duck highs because Blaziken's low stance is a low armor um, a low armor stance but Lucario ducks highs and I, I'm interested to see if, because we saw it a lot in Taito Kun versus TC Xi'an because um, Blaziken's the same has a lot of high moves um, so yeah we'll, we'll see if uh, TC Xi'an can um, can can use that height advantage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. But... <clears throat> so, yeah. It's like... I, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm hyping Popo Popo up too much. That's just because I've been watching the streams and Popo Popo is just like... You know you know when you watch a stream and you're like, that's that's my guy. That's my guy <laughs> over there. It's a Marchand player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you love to see it. You love to see the rush punches, man. Yeah, I mean, we all love big damage. Like, we love seeing health bars go down in like two moves. I, I think that's completely fair enough. But, but um, when you slow it down and appreciate like the more uh, the more slow, methodical sort of play style, yeah, I think both players here absolutely have like uh, have the capability to take this one and just run it, run it all the way home. Oh yeah, definitely. No. Going mm. back to, to see the to see the fight with Tishi Shen and Teito Kun, like I think Shen definitely has a contingency for this. Yep, definitely. But um, for now, everyone, what I reckon we'll do is we'll just quickly go to a break and we'll come back when there are games ready to play. So up next is TC Xian versus Popopo. -Po. But until then, we're going to go to a very, very quick break. Or oh, not a very quick break, a break. A break. A break.
Holy moly. We are back. All right, we are almost ready to go. So, although I do see, I've got to switch over to here. All right, so we see the Marchant versus OK the Gengar. I didn't see this earlier, so I'm very interested straight away to see where, how this turns out. Oh my god, Shen is going with the Gengar. That is a wild, <laughs> wild way to do this. The Marchamp causing a bit of fear at the moment, I, I guess, but, but honestly, I, I trust Shen. Like, from what I've seen so far in this tournament... Oh, okay, that was an interesting clash. I trust I trust both these players to go with the character who would work best. Yeah, no, I think uh, Popo's also got the the kind of like mental damage because after after those last few rounds, like that is a scary thing to see. Mm, and a perfect whiff punish to start off this game straight away. Okay, just the submission the as well. <laughs> <laughs> there we a go. A lot of damage. <laughs> oh, go again. That's game. <laughs> Next round, please. <laughs> The Marchamp just throwing damage everywhere, and, and this time with Gengar, uh, instead of a 600 HP character like um, Lucario, we're working with 510, so considerably less, and that instantly... Is one last <laughs> it's Shion is put straight into the blender, here we go, reset the PSP. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> I don't know what the CA thought it was doing, but... That works out, steal a beta meter, no more burst for you. Yeah man, if it works, it works. And, mm -hmm. oh, and that didn't work, so I got grabs again. <laughs> Just a lot of grabs being thrown out. Oh, this is really patient play from uh, Popovo, and yeah, can't be pressing buttons on that burst wave there. A little too plus for anything to come out. Popopo is, is looking dangerous at the moment. I don't think Xi'an really got into that at all but uh but we've got to see this patience uh start up somewhere Sean's still sticking with the gengar and uh you got to remember Sean is on the winner's side so has three games or well, now two to work with yep yep i think there's nothing scarier than uh gorilla damage and brain cell gameplay <laughs> it's like this <laughs> the onga <laughs> play a lot, a lot of damage, and yeah, frail character. We've got to see Xian and how they want to uh, adjust for this match. Popo so, looking oh dangerous with that boulder. Popo is just skipping the field phase here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you in the corner straight away. Damn. Okay, this this is horrifying. Didn't know there was a special code you could input to skip straight to field phase, but popo has got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the it's chasing just, it's, him down there. Marchamp cross drop. That's all it is. That's a perfect, by the way. That is Ooh, such that. a fast round. This first set has gone. <laughs> this first set, Popopo is already halfway. Let's see what happens here. Xian really needs to wow. make any sort of adjustment that they can. I gotta say, if if Xian is keeping their cool right now then they are a better person than I. Because after the <laughs> second grab, I've just been like, nah. So, yeah, like, <laughs> it'd be so hard to keep on top of the mental stack here. Can't be doing that. That's a burst attack. That is... Can't go probably down to, like, what, 100 HP? Okay, I was way off, 171. But... Uh, well, we can fix that. We can fix yeah, that. Yeah, hang on there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, attack debuff that I'm not noticing, but yeah, back dash. Usually a good option, but Propopo was on top of that. That is two games down already. This has gone by quickly. Man, I, I do not know what's going on inside these players' heads right now, because like, yeah, we're we'll just riding the steamroller. Machamp is steamroller certified. Popopo want and Popopo is all about breaking through boulders at the moment and and Xian kinda wants to stay invisible with all these permeates, but yeah, that backdash not working there. Popopo on top of everything at the moment, about to run through this this uh first set of grand finals. Because once again Popopo on loser side. Gotta yeah, win six game games and that's two. 
Yeah, this this is going by very quickly. Shen yet to find that adjustment. That's an unfortunate oh. submission. I wonder if Shen has considered like switching out characters as well because this is not the best advertisement for Gengar right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's looking pretty dire at the moment. The low stance, I like it. Seeing the blue armor and then low stance, it doesn't matter. Cross chopping in and that's gonna pierce. And this might be a little something. I don't know what those are. Oh, it's, maybe it's a midi setup. But yeah, not really way too much for Shion at the moment. That's gonna. Oh, that was definitely. I think the I think Shion's onto something. We're, we're starting to see. The counter strategy come in. Yeah, that was it was the lowest that we have seen Propopo's HP go so far, and it only goes up. Uh, it only goes lower from here. Hopefully, seeing the adjustments slowly work their way in. Doing a good job of keeping Popo out until now. I mean, huh? oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not yeah. yet. Another submission. More damage being thrown around. Another submission will do it. Oh, okay, that'll do it instead. See you later. That yeah, is we game. Got a reset. That's, that's a reset. That is a Machamp amount of damage. Popo po, po, like that was so quick of a set. Popo po, po, just that was deadly. Not just dangerous, but deadly. And uh, yeah, we're still not really seeing the adjustment just yet. Yeah, no, well, thankfully, that's the advantage of being a winner side, right? Is you, you have the extra games to make that adjustment. Mm -hmm. The uh, the winner side advantage hopefully going to work out here, but we'll have to see. This is uh, going to be an adjustment. Um, see the Gengar again. Will it be able to do a little more this time? Well, Fireball's keeping him on. It's a good way to start. Ooh, okay, the double hit on this, the uh, the homing, just working out there, jump back. I'm loving these defensive options that Popo po is doing. Just gonna get that damage, that's a lot of it. Just just on Oki, backdashing on Oki is actually really smart here, because it's catching any defensive option that Xi'an's doing. Because of that, just able to punish very quickly with Machamp's really like good range and strong options. Oh, but this is some good comeback from Chen. This could be the fabled adjustment we've heard about. Yeah, we gotta see more of it though. I'm not. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna see more. I'm fortunate catching that. Uh, the the dash there with the shadow punch. Good jump out there. Good oh, tech we got too. The Cheeto. <laughs> Cheeto punch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think the screen pause from the burst declare probably uh Popo probably saw movement in that and then said, Yep, I'm cross dropping and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, bad grab again. Nope. Every time I see a grab like that, I'm like, I know for a fact I got grabbed there. Yeah, no, it's a there's nothing scarier than the Machem jump scare, but oh looks like Shen has come in with his own jump scare. Yeah, Shen's like, I want to do, I want to do that too. That looks fun. Another one. Okay, here we go. Shen's now got something going, but taking something out of uh, out of Popo Popo's book. Oh, another grab. <laughs> <laughs> See, the real advantage of a grab in any game is that it does the mental damage. You are immediately terrified once you get grabbed. So the fact that they are just sharing these is terrifying. Well, we see now we've got Mega Gengar. First time this set. Mega Gengar. Not a lot of meter usage going around at the moment. This is maybe something we're going to see where we... Just a bit of pressure. And this is alright, because it means Popopo can't really use that meter. Although... Oh. Not gonna stop him anyways. Was blocked, unfortunately. Yeah, and we're back to neutral again. Popopo and a little bit of advantage. Good catch. And Popo Poke can play as safe as possible and just gonna keep swinging here. Oh, might have put themselves in danger. Hang on. Oh, oh yeah. we got a timeout. It's just a little slow. That That is a mental victory, at least. Like, imagine surviving long enough to <laughs> 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 not get my jam. 
I mean, it's a proof of progression at the moment. We, we see, uh, like, the first set, it just went by so quickly, but now we're seeing timeouts. It means that, hang on, we're hanging on, and uh, there might be adjustments in, in play at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, definitely exciting. What do we? What will we see now? Will we see counter adjustment from Obapo, uh, or will we just, or will we see the continuing growth of Shen's Gengar? Yeah, I'm yeah, excited can't to give, see. Can't give Popopo too much time, just because it gives Popopo the uh, opportunity to adjust back. So it's a bit scary. Yeah, you gotta find out what Popopo is not paying attention to, and then do it. <laughs> <laughs> More charges in. Oh, I got grabbed again, but Shen was ready for that. Good, good catch there. Just a little bit of damage. Might have been too far for the second one. Good recognition. Yeah. Here we go. Shen's like keeping a good amount of space as well, just out of out of the nonsense range. Mm -hmm. And that's really good here because uh, yeah, Marchamp wants to be as close as possible. He wants as many hugs as he can get. This catches. We're gonna see. No shift, and that is meter. Yep, that was that was really smart. Get as much yeah, damage as possible and just steal the meter at the end. These these neutral wise starting to pay off now. The projectile game, I think Shen is starting to use better. Double yeah. debuff. Eat that grab. Okay, Ooh. not the crit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sean, now, now finally we've getting up and around. Finally getting around. We've got it. The, the progression is complete. Now we just got to hold this position and hope that Popo -Po does not respond too quickly. Sean taking the first round of this game, too, of the reset. The first game, the, the first round that Sean has taken this entire set so far. Yeah, man, this, the hero saga. We are at our turning point. Whoa! The chase with that submission. Oh. Every single time, just get grabbed at the end of it. <laughs> it always looks like. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, that was, that was got to. Okay, first attack. No, okay. Gonna steal meter. Smart. Got the setup there. Alright, this is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh, I don't think that works, does it? No. no. Shadow punch. Not much to go, that's a punish. Oh, come on, Shen. <laughs> this is back to a one hit situation. <laughs> this is horrifying. Oh, that, that, that is the move that does no damage, but, but sure, sure. No jumping. Shen doesn't really need to. Okay, thankfully we've Ooh. also got time on our side here. There sure. it is. Shen getting a timeout. But that doesn't matter. We take those easy. Yeah, Shen we... on the board. Not only has Shen won their first round this set, that is the first game. Okay, we are we are starting to see like this, this is where it gets really hype, guys, because now now you know they both have the things that they can do. Yeah, they then, they know they know their plan. They have their plan now. Who can make the other person screw up their plan first? Mm hmm. It, it's like it's it's a timer. It's a ticking time bomb at the moment. Popopo is now on the back foot and has to readjust what xion has been doing, having to do. Uh, this entire set, and now it's Popopo's go to adjust as quickly as possible. Already seeing it slightly. Yeah, you. And again, this is just one of the many advantages of Winner's Side. Shen had that time to to download as much information as possible. Yeah, yeah. Get time to work with, and it's really important in Grand Finals. It's very effective to. Uh, it's very good to use and. They're definitely seeing the usage of it. it would permeate through that 8Y. That might catch, no one. Weird little interaction there. Hard knockdowns like that do set off Rotom. 
Oh, managed to avoid the grab and then got. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> no, that is the round to Popopo. Oh, these grabs have been so strong. Obviously, it's Marchamp. It's like that's what he does. It was a fine little perfect block. That was not meant to work that way. That was. I might need to look into that later. That should not. That should have been blocked unless Popopo was mashing or it was late. I don't know. Hey man, if it works, it's tactical. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that punish on the back line was also fantastic. Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, damage thrown around. Let's go. <laughs> Cheeto's back. <laughs> Oh no, it's a permeated through, it is! Okay, Rotom gets set off, what are we gonna see? Okay, the same route from before, really good, amount of damage, and we steal that meter more importantly. Not really, an, uh, actually no, more important, okay, don't worry, forget everything I've said, we're moving on to the next game. Oh no, <laughs> we're not, okay, we're alive. <laughs> no, he's not there! Perfect block. Just go run it back. Oh. Okay, we are moving on, actually, this won't kill. This will be no, really close there. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> one hit situation, good tech. That is oh. Popo goes around. That, that was intense, man. <laughs> that really could have gone either way. I really thought that was just Marchand's, uh, Marchand's game there with the submission, then it was, oh no, maybe Gengar's with the burst, and then no, the grab tag. Yeah, then, then you end up with the Mexican standoff, man. It's, yeah, yeah. One, first. the next interaction, but that puts Popopo on tournament point now. We really have to see response from Sean to stay in this game. Now, uh, Sean is also stuck on Gengar, worth mentioning. Uh, cannot switch, will not get another opportunity to. Yeah, but I mean... When, once you've done this well with Gengar so far, like, you know... That's, not that's true, switch. yeah. Yeah, because uh, the progress to get here definitely is starting to pay off. Yeah, some really artful backbashes. Could have used an artful backbash there. Instead, we get a grab. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of damage. Low stance just for the CA. Two wide checks. This is going to be a... L oh, wait, actually, there was a lot of damage. Good reaction to the blue armor. Trying to keep him up. But no. Okay, that was some damage. The CA really just <laughs> bashing through that last bit of health. Here we go, Popo. -po -po. Now on championship point to take this uh this RTG. Overall, playing with the persistence of a door-to-door -door insurance salesman with a KPI. Like, <laughs> they are getting in. <laughs> it does not matter. We are getting in. Like, I've got all these tools to keep you out, but why? But yet you are here. <laughs> that being said, Shen has the corner now. That doesn't matter because we got the Cheeto mode going. Oh, no, Shen. But yeah, it. it. Yeah, Shen was ready for that one. Does not matter. Trying to build meter of their own. Oh, okay. Uh, this is doing a lot, lot. Uh... Yeah, but Shen's like defensiveness has paid off because at least uh, Shen still has the oh, life lead here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The combo the... going. Shen really starting to rack up this damage and and uh, on on Marchamp uh, in first is actually really good. Force a block. Oh no, gun side that. Okay, prove me wrong. Yeah, we are also getting dicey on time as well, so if Shen yeah. can just keep this out, we could see Shen taking another, taking another game. Nope, that was around, my such, such a good punish there on the heavy slam that goes like, it goes back and Shen's like, nah, you, you get back here, I'm chasing you down. We, we've got, we've got what, the, uh, the, uh, what you trying to remember what you said before, the KPI? <laughs> <laughs> the insurance agent was a KPI. Yeah. The insurance agent versus the tax man chasing you down despite you running away. <laughs> oh, and oh, almost wow, a punish. This matters quite a bit. Cool, that's meter. Still... That's yeah, meter yeah. gone. Well, it wasn't full before, but losing it still 
really, really bad here. Sean in the honestly a pretty good position uh, with the like move on standby support. Here it is, Mega Gengar. Just okay. Let let's just finish this now. That's more meter gone. Yep, can't Ooh. jump out of that. Oh, burst! Is it a burst? It is a burst. Okay, we're okay. going to final game. This, uh, I mean, surely this feels right. Surely, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, no yeah, question. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Guys, we are down to our final game now. This this is incredibly exciting. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and and I think it's incredible to just look at what we saw in set one of grand finals versus what we are currently seeing it is neck and neck now because because sean did not take the first round in that game popopo did and sean fought it's back to take that game some would even say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but we are on to final game of this entire tournament next Next winner wins the entire thing. Who would have thought? After that first set, we're seeing Sean bring it to Popo -Po. Just remember, like no matter how bad your first game goes, you still got the rest of the set. You can run you can run the rest of the set. This is true. It's it's a journey. It's a journey of adaptation and Sean is showing this in full in in full force. Sean really taking this round away at the moment. Good low stance under that cross job. Might not have hit, but still moving backwards. Keeping him out as well with the uh, with the slow projectiles. Hmm. Oh, wasting the stack. Hang on, the bulk up's gone. Still no damage on board. I'm like, oh no, okay, I won't I won't jinx it. That's incredible. Okay. This is a good this is really good actually stealing just that little bit of meter, the race. For uh, meter gain is very important here. Another grab. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, good grab. that can't have felt very good. <laughs> okay, yeah, we we are. It's, okay, it's even cool. 162 HP to 188. Oh, okay, good catch. Nice little bit of damage. <laughs> Another six YX. Okay. And yeah, Xion just running away, fair enough. Yeah, it's two seconds. Yeah, okay, Xion on tournament point. Xion on this tournament is, point, this is... This is an adventure, this is a journey. Xion has come all the way back from what we saw earlier. Good scary face, uh, scary face? I can't remember the name of scary face, one, two. Scary face it is, actually. It's scary face, yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of damage here, oh, boom. Got in. Alright, this round is looking the exact opposite to before. Oh, literally the opposite. Hope I've already now yet to take damage. Okay, so we're on to the final round. <laughs> That's a grab. We are at tournament point, the absolute last physical game. The final game, final round, both using their side of the stage just to set up the scary face again. They've been so effective. Popopo using essentially every piece of blue armor they have except for the CA. And there's another scary face. If this turns out like the previous round, good backdash. Yeah, no, that's very clean. This is the kind of a reactive play you'd see from people who have run a very long set against each other. <laughs> yeah, this this is too exhaustion, but like players just full of exhaustion just going, okay, I'm gonna 50-50 you and you have to take it. Oh, the back of the Lariat, that's unfortunate, and both got meter again. Ooh, good dodge there. No, no, <laughs> well, it was a good dodge at the time. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but this is oh. actually, this is really good, that's meter gone. Oh, good catch, too. Okay, this, could, this could be a lot of damage. Oh, that's fine, uh, you know what? The only thing is, Jirachi is just about on board, so that meter's probably coming back in a second. Although he has to find time to use it. Yeah, no, it looks like Chen is just not gonna give him time to get his turn back. Oh, there it is. Okay, meter on board. Has to respond with burst. <laughs> Eight seconds to go. That should almost stall out. Not going to stall it. What are we gonna see? Are we gonna see a cross chop? I wanna see a cross chop. Can't get past it. Shen oh, takes oh, it. Oh. 
The shadow wall. It's not shadow ball, it's a shadow wall. You can keep them out. You can block them on Facebook. You can lock your gate. <laughs> the door Peace is you. shut. Go home, miss your KPI. It's Shen Peace taking Shen. the game. Yeah. Wins the very first RTG Asia. That was an amazing game. That that was a journey. That was a, a hero's journey. We saw the downfall at the start and the uh, the adaptation. And Popo -po sitting on in in game four, sitting on tournament point, all the way to seeing TC Xian take it, uh, take the entire tournament, the first RTG Asia. Uh, yeah, what a, what adaptation. Yeah, no, that, that was some really, really impressive stuff. Like, this should be hung up as a motivational poster in schools. <laughs> like, sometimes... This, this is what you can be. <laughs> this is what you can be. You just don't give up. <laughs> You'll get I, I there. Thought, I honestly thought Bobo Bo was gonna was gonna take it in that final game because Bobo Bo had switched to, like, just full bunga for a bit there. Yeah, yeah, like, it's all up to guessing. And, uh, no, no. TC Xian was just like, yeah, but what if you have to guess? And Popopo was not ready for that. Still, fantastic result for Popopo as well. Coming from, uh, like, Popopo was not in winners' finals. Um, Popopo had to make the losers' run to get to grand finals and made it to grands. But yeah, TC Xian just, just such a strong adaptation. Adaptation like that is always so like entertaining to watch. Seeing, seeing like honest, honestly, I, I'm I'm not gonna be choice of my words. The first set was a wash. I I was I was like, oh okay, hang on. What is this Gengar going to work? And it and TC Xian has proven me wrong because that Gengar came out swinging in that second set, wanting that tournament and taking that tournament. So massive yeah. congratulations to TC Xian. Shen definitely walked out like squeaky clean after the reset and then it was just like, okay, time to get back to work. <laughs> okay, my warm-up's over. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely. And I think the important thing you see is with these kind of like brawler characters is once you keep them out, then you've broken the, the flow, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all their plan is uh, like very dependent on being up close and once i think tc xian learnt how to do that uh it, it sort of the plan flowed from there we saw it at the start of uh the second set sort of developing and then by the time we got to game five it was it, it was a full solid plan yeah i especially like those backlash adaptations because because yeah. uh Popo -Popo was definitely representing that grab very very frequently so mm. naturally that's the first thing you kind of see go out and yeah we had that good narrative flow going like okay this time we lost but but you know shen lost but got uh Popo to half elf then the other time won by timeout and mm. then suddenly mm. we're on game five yeah yeah we saw it slowly like sort of get into the uh into the game it started with uh yeah with just the slow sort of wins like okay we're taking half a health bar okay winning uh we're we're surviving in timeout we're winning by a timeout now we're winning yeah, it really really cool progress to see like work out in the end. But um I'm at the moment I'm just trying to find the bracket. I just wanna see. There it is, okay. But yeah, yeah, just just a really entertaining grand finals. Definitely all all around. I especially love the there was that one game, I think it was must have been game four, where like uh, where Shen was just on the offensive and then at the last two seconds started backing away that that is <laughs> Sometimes you got to adapt yourself. Sometimes yeah. you gotta go. You know yeah. what? Maybe I shouldn't go in. Maybe I should back up <laughs> The game plan is ever-evolving and if it means not uh, If it just means not taking damage a wins a win like do what you need to and yeah Shen recognized that very well um then all, all the guys in option, like, like, like we said, Popo -Po was just been out of their mind this entire time. Like, that yeah, is... yeah. Uh, I, that's what I was trying to grab. Yeah, I want to see. So, Popo -Po, so Popo -Po actually lost. I don't know if 
Um, unless there's added context that I need, but Pa Pa actually lost in round one to Godzilla Goo, and then made the run back all the way from losers round one, even beating Godzilla Goo again to take uh, to get to grand finals and to take the first set of grand finals. That's that's an incredible climb and. Props to Popopo for getting to second after uh, after a, a first round not going as well as uh, uh, in their favor. That that's really impressive. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I think the the great thing about seeing the Marchamp like the Marchamp matchup against anything is you just see what a good strike throw looks like. Yeah, yeah. Because every single time we thought if Popo's going for the fall, no nope, grab. That that is it's, some scary stuff. It's so scary to see. Um, oh, just quickly, um, we'll start to wrap up here because it is two a.m. here in Australia. Um, so, winning, of course, we see TC Xian in an absolutely incredible showing. Po po po. After th th this win loss record is just so funny to look at. Loss, win 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 loss. That that's that's an effort. Uh, third place uh, was Taito Kun uh, with the Blaziken, a really impressive Blaziken, and fourth place was um, was Big Hiker. Like, um, didn't get to see too much of it because it was um, the one game. But congrats to congrats to them to getting a uh, fourth. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking now in chat. Uh, Goo popping in to say that. They, um, yeah, I forgot to even uh, mention again too. Popopo also has Shand appear, so just a yeah, really talented player. Yeah, definitely. And to, like playing Chandelier and Machamp at the same time, th those are two very different brain cells you have to use. Very, in this game. <laughs> very different. I play I play two zoners that like mid screen, but Machamp and Shand, yeah, so different. I could not see myself doing that. Yeah, what if you accidentally go into Chandelier gear while playing Marchamp? Be like, I'm gonna stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Try and zone with Marchamp's field phase. And uh, maybe Marchamp could be the next zoner. <laughs> Check out my zoning Marchamp. <laughs> but alright, I reckon that is an entertaining tournament that we will begin to close up. Thank you everyone uh, for watching tonight. This has been a really fun uh, tournament to commentate. Um, thank you to Santa who was the, the commentator prior and a big thank you to Koro for the uh, for hosting hosting uh, the the stream. Uh, and Koro's done a lot of work for my my uh, scene as well, uh, Pokemon OC. So yeah, Koro's Car a legend, and everyone, if you haven't already, please give Koro a follow, because Koro definitely deserves it. Does so much work. Yeah, Koro's Car Discord pro profile picture is uh, is the the rabbit Pokemon, but the we all know Koro's the goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there they you go in chat, Koro. VOD will be going up tomorrow, so... If you missed a game that you want to see earlier, or Neon Black with you saying uh, if you missed Santa commentating, 